Hey y'all, I'm back. How y'all doing? So as you can see, I am in the kitchen yet again. So ever since my husband has been coming home more often from driving trucks, I've been in his kitchen cooking because I feel like he needs to have a meal. And hey, he feels like he needs to have a meal. So ladies, cook your man their meal. Okay, so what I'm about to do now, you can see behind me, is some ingredients for a jambalaya. I have not made jambalaya from scratch. I always use like the Zatarain's box and make it. So today we're gonna do something different. I was watching um, a channel late last night when I should have been asleep. And the channel is Smoking and Grilling with AB and he did jambalaya. So that's what I'm about to do. But mine's, I'm gonna try to put like a New Orleans skillet in it because it's gonna be done in a skillet. So y'all, let me show you what we have in here. Okay, so what we have here, well, before we start, go ahead and hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you have not. And if you have, thank y'all so much for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for doing so. So let's get busy with this. Um, the ingredients are, he used garlic and he used the clove garlic. Well, what I'm using is what's in my house without me having to go to the grocery store. So what's in my house is some garlic powder. And I'm gonna use some of this minced garlic. Paprika, one tablespoon of that. And then also I have here some chicken broth. He used the less sodium broth. I didn't have any of that. This is what I had after Thanksgiving. You know, you barely have anything. I have to go shopping this weekend, y'all. So he only used a green and I think a red. I know he used a green bell pepper and another bell pepper. But what I'm gonna use is these three right here, orange, green, and red. I started to use yellow. I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then he had one huge white onion. Y'all, I ain't seen an onion that big. Anyway, I didn't have that in my pantry. What I have in my pantry is some sweet onions, a regular onion, and that's it. So that's what I'm gonna use. He didn't use Obey, but I'm gonna use Obey in mine because I wanted to have like a little, you know, flight, flight, flavor to it. He used something different that I don't have. So that's why I'm using this right here. And then he also used tomato paste, black pepper. He used kosher salt. I'm just using regular salt. He used cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna use onion powder, even though he didn't use onion powder. And I will put in um, how much of each I'm using as the video goes on. So let me go ahead and get this prep done. You don't need to see me cut up my onions or all of that stuff. Or maybe I'll show you a little bit of that, but not the full thing. Everyone knows how to cut some onions, but I just want you to see just a quick snippet. Oh, y'all see how my um, Crown Royal apple cake is almost gone. Anyway, I forgot to tell you that you also need to have rice. Duh, Tommy. I haven't cooked it yet, so I'm about to cook me a cup and a half of rice. And you're also going to need your sausage. He used andouille sausages. And to be honest, y'all, I don't know what an andouille sausage is. I have never seen one other than the one he had and the way everybody talks about them, they are the bomb. I don't know if people still say that, but anyway, I just did. So I'm using this right here. And one of these days, maybe I'll order some online because I've never seen any in any of the stores here. So I've already um, cut up my onions. I forgot to record me doing a little bit of them, but that's about the size that you want them. And what I used was, uh, two of the sweet onions, small, and if you don't have that, just use one large white onion, which is what he used. 
but I love sweet onions, so even though I didn't have the white onion, it worked out for me because that's what I love. So you can substitute what you don't have. And I'm just going to cut these um, the long way. Just like this. So they're going to be the long way. And that's what I'm going to do to the red one and also the orange one. Okay, I have everything chopped up. I have my bell peppers right here. As you can see, the colors that I've used, even though he only used two, he did say you can add what you wanted to add to it. That's what I love about his recipes. Also with the shrimp, and you don't have to do shrimp. He said this is optional, but for me, it is not optional because in my mind, I'm making a jambalaya that's like a New Orleans skillet from Applebee's. So you gotta have the shrimp. I didn't have the... Uh, peel and devein these these were already done so these will go in last of course because they're already cooked you're just warming them up and then i already opened up that and i wanted to show y'all right here i took my seeds out of my bell peppers for the orange ones and the red ones because I'm gonna dry these out and then I'll bag them up and I'll label them and these will be planted. So I just want to share that with y'all. That's my little garden moment. So anyway, I have my onions there. I have my pan, which is my skillet is heating up. So I'm going to add some um, extra virgin olive oil to it. So we are gonna let that get hot, which the pan is already hot. And I have my rice right here, which I'm going to use uh, one and a half. So the first thing I'm going to add to my skillet is my onions. My uh, heat is on medium high. I do my onions first because it does take a little bit. And let me tell you, it's the smell that's coming out. Oh my gosh. I had to make sure I turn it down. So. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this get translucent a little bit. I wish y'all could smell that. Bring you over here. I gotta be my own camera girl because I want you to be able to see into the skillet. So now what we're gonna do, as you can see, the onions are looking good, smelling good. We're going to add our bell peppers. I'm trying to get it right up over it so you can really see what I'm doing. Okay. Without me having to hold it. I don't want to have to hold it. There we go. So we're going to add all of our different color bell peppers. And we're going to let these cook down. Start to break down that process and get soft. here waiting but it's not time for that yet bell peppers are breaking down I'm so glad I saw this because I get tired of doing the, the Zatarans in the box I want to be able to do it myself and I always cook for my husband but he said, I'm the type of person will, I like to eat the same things over and over again. But he was like, ever since you started doing YouTube, you've been stepping out there and doing some extra stuff. So y'all, try this meal. 
he, like I said, he used the fresh garlic. I advise, if you're doing this, go out and get the fresh garlic. This is a prepper pantry jambalaya from scratch. And I'm using what I have. I don't use that much. I love garlic. I will overdo it and then no one else will want to eat it. So, that's about two tablespoons. No, that's about one tablespoon. One tablespoon is all I'm going to use. Because I can just throw an Italian sausage or bratwurst up in here and act like I'm at the fair. Have y'all ever done this at home? Sauteed your peppers, your onions. I do it all the time. I've just never made this recipe. So I'll bring y'all back once the uh, bell peppers break down and get soft a little bit more. We're going to add some pepper. I'm going to get my hand out of the camera. i got to learn to stop doing it. And then we're going to add some salt. And remember, he used kosher salt. I'm just using regular salt. And I'm not using a lot because I can't have a lot of, um, I shouldn't have a lot of salt in my food because of my blood pressure. I'm trying to maintain and make sure it stays where it needs to be. Mm. So we're going to take this out. And y'all, I skipped the steps, so I'm about to do it now. I need to brown my sausage. That was the first thing I was supposed to do. So that I would be browning it. And those flavors would be in here. But that's okay. I got that onion and all of that other stuff in here. It's all going to blend together. So we're going to get all this out hot. Add just a little bit more of the olive oil because I've only added a little bit. And we're going to sit that aside. about to add he used some garlic butter I don't have garlic butter seasoning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter some garlic powder so the butter don't burn a little bit of olive oil don't have to be in there long because they're already cooked. The ones that I'm using, the pre-cooked ones. So I'm just really warming them up. But if you use the other one, you can just put it in there a little bit longer, but not too long because you don't want it to be rubbery. And then I had some um, easy peel shrimp. That's what these bigger ones are put those in there too. Okay, now I'm about to add some. He used the Creole kick. I'm out of Creole kick. And like I said, I'm using what I have in my, my prepper pantry, so I'm going to have to add that to my list. So I'm using some of this Old Bay right here. Now I'm about to take the shrimp out. Y'all, I don't cook every day, but since my husband been coming home every day, I've been cooking every day. 
So, like he said, I'm a mon monotony type of chick. <laughs> and I want to eat the same things all the time. So I'm trying to add to my repertoire. Okay, so I have that out. Now I'm going to add the tomato paste. Like I said, this is not the andouille sausage. I will be looking for that the next time I make this. That's my favorite sausage. It is your favorite sausage, though. If you feel like you need to add just a little bit more, I didn't add any more liquid to this cup. I'm still working with what I have. And now I'm going to add my shrimp. One thing I haven't added yet, and I probably should have when um, when I did the sauce, when you put the sauce in, the tomato paste that is, you need to add your paprika and you need to add your cayenne pepper. But I didn't do that, so guess what? We're gonna do it now. One tablespoon of paprika and there's the cayenne. I'm going to do not what he did because he loved a kick, you know. Smoking and grilling with A.B. love a kick. My daughter loves a kick too, but I'm only going to use one four. I'm not putting a little more of the cayenne. And we're just going to stir that on up. Get it all incorporated in here. Because if it was with the sauce... Then you can see every bit of it will be covered. So now I got to really stir it good. But y'all, this looks really good. Hand me that one. Okay. So y'all, I got knocked off my phone. Um, my brother was calling me. Today is his birthday. But um, I did add, I tasted it, and I had added a little bit more cayenne. Not too much. And a little more black pepper. So I'm gonna bowl it up and we're gonna get to taste it. Can you see my bowl? And you know the bowl's already steaming. Mm. 
is just for presentation. Y'all look at that right there. Don't that look good? This is the recipe from Smoking and Grilling with AB. Y'all go check him out. I'm going to leave his link in the description box and let me taste this food with the sausage and the pepper. I'm going to try to get it in one bite. Girl, don't be all up in my grill. <laughs> Back up some. I step one foot. just right the peppers just right i didn't want them real soft and mushy so i left a little crunch to them but not too much i believe this is the way i'm going to do my jambalaya from now on instead of the box this is good this is really good so y'all leave me some comments down below let me know if you're going to try this recipe also y'all Stay safe, stay blessed. Remember to love yourself. Go out and spread love. Smooches. <laughs>